my water broke right in front of the door. Luckily for me, my husband was home and we immediately dropped everything, grabbed the, grabbed the hospital bag that I had packed, threw everyone in the car and drove to the hospital. Hello learners and welcome back to Nurse Oni Teaches. My name is Onyinye and today I will offer you all some tips that can help you be better prepared for your upcoming birth. Tip number one, if your hospital allows you to, go ahead and pre-register. Pre-registering is beneficial because one, when you pre-register, you shorten the amount of time that you spend filling out paperwork when you go into labor. Number two, hospitals can better prepare for your birth if you let them know ahead of time that you are coming. They, they can prepare the right number of staff, make sure that they have the right amount of anesthetics on hand so that your delivery can go on smooth, especially if you plan on getting an epidural. It also helps because when you pre-register, the hospital provides you with a checklist of what to bring with you when you come to deliver. Tip number two, make sure you install your infant car seat or the base of your child's car seat into the car before you head out for the hospital. There is nothing more difficult or more tasking for couples than for them to be fumbling with installing a car seat when it's time for them to either go home after the delivery or after a baby is born, having to worry about where the car seat is, if it's properly installed, things of that sort. If you install it before your delivery date, you can take it to your local fire station or to the local hospital or even to your pediatrician's office and have someone look it over with you who has tested or who is cleared to check infant car seat installation and give you the clearance that it has been done correctly, okay? Tip number three, make sure you take a birthing course, especially if you are a first time parent. It's already a, a period where many people don't know what to expect. So if you take a birthing class, you are better informed of what constitutes labor and what you can pretty much stay at home about and watch and gauge, whether it's necessary for you to call the doctor or whether you can just go straight to the hospital. So make sure you take a birthing class. Birthing classes can help you with breathing techniques for when you go into labor. Birthing classes can help with your support person, give them a heads up on how to behave, how to help you as you progress along in labor. And then they can also help siblings who need to adjust to um, having a new person in the home you cannot go wrong by taking a birthing class, all right? Tip number four, map out the route to the hospital. Most people think that this is just a, a light tip, but it's not. Remember, labor cannot always be predicted. So knowing your route to the hospital is very helpful, especially in cases of emergencies. It's also important for you to have an alternative route just in case your first route does not work out well. Make sure you know your expected arrival time. Make sure you know the flow of traffic. That way, if your labor seems to be coming on and you know five o'clock traffic is about to hit, that you go ahead and leave, okay? It's better for you to sit in the hospital parking lot and walk around the hospital, which I have seen a lot of moms do, and then go on up if you need, if you are pretty sure that your labor has kicked in, then for you to be at home in full labor and struggling, trying to make sure the, the light is green so you can get to the hospital on time. All right. Tip number four, make sure you have your hospital bags packed. There is nothing worse than going into labor and scrambling around looking for what to throw in the bag because you are not very prepared for that delivery. There are many checklists available online. You do yourself a favor as you begin to end, uh, come toward the end of your second trimester and go into your third trimester, go ahead and begin to search out on the internet or ask friends and family members on what you need to bring to the hospital with you. A lot of people overpack. I have seen people come to the hospital with upwards of three luggages. It's not vacation. You will be there just a few days. So pack exactly what you need. 
Matter of fact, I will have a video coming up really soon on what you should pack in your hospital bag. That way, if you don't want to search it up, you can just watch the video and just write down the things that you hear me mention. As a nurse who has worked both labor and delivery, postpartum, and the nursery side of uh, maternity nursing, and as a mom, I think I am pretty qualified to help you you know select the right things to bring to the hospital whatever you forget to pack more than likely the hospital has a substitute for it so don't worry yourself too much on that okay don't don't pack don't overpack it does you no good because remember on your way home you will have a baby to worry about you don't want a ton of luggage in addition to a new person that you now have to find a way to fit into your vehicle okay so pack light or pack appropriately Tip number six, be prepared for the unexpected. No matter how well prepared you are, there will always be a chance that something will go awry. I will use myself as an example. When I was about 31 weeks pregnant, I made sure that my baby's car seat was clipped in, that I had completed all my checklists, I had registered at the hospital, I knew my route to the hospital. But the night before I went into full-blown labor, this is for baby number four. The night before I went into full-blown labor, I knew I was contracted. I knew what was coming. But did I think that it would happen as quickly as it did? No. So when the dawn broke the next morning, instead of getting myself ready to go to the hospital, I got dressed and I went to Sam's Club. Yes, I went shopping. And then I went to Kroger to buy some more things. When I got home from Kroger and was bringing the things that I purchased into the house, my water broke right in front of the door. Luckily for me, my husband was home and we immediately dropped everything, grabbed the, grabbed the hospital bag that I had packed, threw everyone in the car and drove to the hospital. Now, you may not always have it uh, as fortunate as that, so make sure that you, you know, you can do everything you can to get ready and then still have to deal with the fact that babies come when babies want to come. All right. With that said, take a deep breath, do what you can, and then let nature take its course. If you have not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Turn on your bell so that you are aware of every time I upload a video. And then share this video with somebody in your life who you know can benefit from it. I would appreciate a like and a comment. If you need a topic covered that I uh, have not covered, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section. And I will do my best to either respond directly to you or make a video about it. All right. Come along with me as we build this community of learners. I wish you a safe, healthy, and happy pregnancy and a smooth delivery. Until the next time, be blessed.